First Lord 4 first told you last night at 10, Centene is downsizing, planning to lay off about 2,000 employees. Where those jobs are, however, is still up in the air. And with headquarters here in Clayton, the concern is certainly pressing. Nathan Vickers is live in Clayton tonight detailing what those layoffs could mean for us here. Well, Clay, uh, down here in Clayton, Centene has a huge footprint. I mean, their buildings take up a couple city blocks out here. And the company sort of hinted that this uh, cut is sort of about realigning some of their cost structure. But we spoke to some analysts who told us there may be several factors at play. Centene is one of the area's largest employers, a company focused on insurance plans offered through Medicaid and the Affordable Care Act. In effect, you enroll for Medicaid or Medicare through Centene, they manage your benefits. Jerome Katz is a business professor at St. Louis University. He says the company has been restructuring over the past few years, trying to refocus its efforts on improving its quality ratings for those plans. They've sold off businesses that weren't central to what they're trying to do. They have uh, scaled back in areas uh, uh, around Medicare. But at the same time, pandemic era Medicaid regulations have shifted in many states, including Missouri. A lot of states have redrawn their Medicaid uh, rules, and that's meant that millions of people who were in Medicaid have been thrown out. All of those purges mean Centene's losing customers. Some people who live and work near the company's headquarters in downtown Clayton have been wondering what the cuts could mean for the area. A lot of people work in a home now anyways, so just like any people that are gonna be like moving out of the city are just not gonna be here whenever our lunch rushes or like dining's happening. It doesn't concern me uh, as it pertains to Clayton because Centene has such a large presence nationally. Centene hasn't specified where it's making cuts or what positions. In a statement, a spokesperson said, we are investing to deliver value for our customers now and into the future, both by leveraging our size and scale and by right-sizing our cost structure. For Centene, the lesson is plan ahead. They knew that pandemic funding was eventually going to end. They didn't anticipate it. And they, when it actually happened, they had to scramble to deal with it. And that's what we are seeing them na do now and why they're cutting back. Well, those layoffs will start sometime next week. And Centene says it is providing severance packages for those employees. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4. The Missouri Supreme